Today we're going to do a twice term bowl, so today will be the wet portion the first time. plate. This is actually going to be the inside of the bowl. It's going to be the back side of the bowl. So I'll mount it here, get it round and get the shape I want. You didn't. Yeah. It didn't destroy it, it like you thought. It, it didn't tear it up. Time you are. Okay. So what are you doing now? I'm going to actually mount it to the lathe. All right, mount it to the lathe. Is this the time I need to move? It's entirely up to you. Little bitty bowl, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be a little punky, don't you think? Think we'll get to put some resin on it? You know, I like resin. Resin. I don't know. Yeah. What are you doing now? I'm gonna. I got that ready. I'm gonna come around the side. outside done, then I'm gonna switch it around. So you'll be how much complete when you put it in the bag? Well most of it'll be done. It's a lot easier to cut when it's wet. Most of it'll be done.
Now how do you do that? How do I do what? What you getting ready to do? I'm gonna swap it around. Okay, so where's the crack? Right there. It runs right through there. It's right there in the center. Of the... Right, right where the pit is. So I may have to cut it back. real thick you know, because when it dries it's going to move and I need enough room to get back. And I think I'm going to So now is when you put it in a bag? Yeah. So you put it in the bag. And I put all these wet shavings in with it. <laughs> that will cause it to dry out at a rate. That you, can. you don't want it drying out too fast. So. So. That's going to be the bowl. I left plenty because a lot of times when you got a pit running through right there, it's going to move a lot. Sometimes the movement is what you're looking for. Some of it's not, but I want to leave it. Uh, 
where I got enough to deal with it after, because it's going to move with that pit. It's really going to move weird. So, all right. So what I'll do, pour some good stuff right here. Get this on the bottom. Big shavings, aren't there? Yeah, there's some good ones there. All right. All right, I'll put the. Oh, sorry. You just want to fill them up all around it. You start with a clean floor, don't you? Yeah, that's, that's one thing you do. You get it swept up good before you ever start. And you don't want a bunch of dry shavings in there with it. Cause... Now you can't even see the bowl. Right, that's the idea. All right, now. What we're going to do here. The bag makes it. Well, I hope it does. You got your tape? All right, you hold it right there. What are you doing? I'm all right. Now that I got it all packaged up for its long six month, eight month deal, I got them all right on here. All right, Magnolia. Magnolia, and uh, it come from today is. Uh, Seven four twenty three, and it come from Blake, and that way I know what's in it. And how long do you leave it in there? Six to eight months. If it's real dry, you can do it for six months, but you better off leave it in there long enough because you want it dry and all the moving it's going to do and hit the mendosa. But the shavings and everything being thick. It's going to cause it to dry at a sl much slower rate to where it's still going to move. That's why we left it thick. But yet, it's going to slow it down to the point where it ain't going to break all the pieces. So, that's one of them. Now we're going to get this other. Come on. Wait. 